Hi there, it's Miss Mason here, and today we're going to be practicing making diagonal and circle lines. Let's go ahead and practice making diagonal lines on this baby goat. Baby goat. The newborn goat runs to and fro. Start up top and down you go. So you would start at the top and make a line down like this. That's how you make a line down. Here it is, start at the top, line down. Slide down the line and keep it straight. Top to bottom, you're doing great. Now let's slide the other way. Top to bottom, hey, hey, hey. This is the activity you're going to be doing on Class Dojo today. Practice making diagonal lines. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to practice making the piglets. The piglets are going to help us make circle shapes. The piglet sniffs with a big round nose. Down, around, the circle goes. Draw the faces one by one. Don't stop now, we've just begun. So draw the faces round and round. Do your best to try to stay on that thick black line to make the circle shape. Remember, we want to take our time when we're practicing these shapes. That way we can get better and better. Remember, if you make an accident, like how this one is too big, you can erase it and go back and try to stay on the lines again and again. All right, very good job. We've practiced making diagonal and circle lines. Then what you're going to do after you trace these activities on Class Dojo is you're going to get a piece of paper, a piece of blank paper, and at the top, you're going to practice making diagonal lines this way and that, this way and that, like how they did with the lamb's legs, this way and that, this way and that. For the whole top part of your paper, you're going to practice making diagonal lines. Remember to please take your time so that way we can see how careful you're being because these skills are going to help us when we are making letters for our writing. And then what you're going to do is practice your circle shapes. Remember to draw carefully and slowly. That way you can make some amazing circle shapes. Try making a few big circles and then a few small circles as well with your pencil. Remember, if you make an accident, you can always erase. Or if you make an accident like this, you can cross it out and write it again next to it. Practice making lots and lots of circle shapes. Very good job. Now remember, these are all very important skills that are going to help us when we go to write and practice our letters. So that way we can write words. Keep up the awesome work, and I can't wait to see your diagonal and circle lines on Class Dojo as well as on Flipgrid, all on your own. I'll see you there.